Hi, welcome to Dreamsicle Designs by Danielle. In this video, I show you how to design and sew your very own lace bolero. As you can see, it comes with a matching halter peplum top with a ribbon necktie and a matching pencil skirt with ruffle that I show you how to make in my other videos. Let's get started. Start with your basic bodice blocks, stretch edition. If you don't have these, watch my tutorial video linked in the description below. The bolero is open at the front with the fabric running from your high point shoulder to below the base of your armhole. On your front pattern, mark how low you would like the bolero to sit on your side seam. I chose to have mine sit at 2 inches below the base of my armhole. Draw a curve from your high point shoulder to the end point of your bolero on your side seam. I chose to have my curve come straight down from my high point shoulder before curving in towards the side seam. You may choose to have a curve towards your center line or even use diagonal lines instead of a curve. You have total freedom as a designer. Remember to redraw any missing seam allowances and hems. This is what your final front pattern piece should look like. You will cut two mirror images from your main fabric. The bolero is closed at the back. On your back pattern, mark the same distance down from your armhole base on your side seam as you did on the front so that the two will match up. Draw a curve or line from that side seam mark towards the back center line. Remember to redraw any missing seam allowances and hems. This is what your final back pattern piece should look like. You will cut one on the fold from your main fabric. Start with your basic sleeve block stretch edition. If you don't have one, watch my tutorial video linked in the description below. I chose to have a slim fitted sleeve. On your sleeve pattern, mark the new width of your wrist at the base of your sleeve. Make sure that your fabric is stretchy enough to pull over your hand at the new and reduced width. Redraw the curve to connect the new wrist endpoints to the ends of the sleeve cap. Drew the side seams. Remember to redraw any missing seam allowances and hems. This is what your final sleeve pattern piece should look like. You will cut two mirror images from your main fabric. And that's it. We're done our designing. I highly recommend making a prototype to confirm the fit of your design. This is my lace fabric that has two-way stretch. You see it has a nice floral pattern. To cut your fabric, place your pattern pieces on the wrong side. Use a rotary cutter or scissors. And remember to mark your notches. These are the cutout pattern pieces for the bolero, which are all from the main lace fabric. Since I'm using lace as my main fabric, I will use a French seam to completely enclose the raw ends. French seams are good for sheer or lightweight fabrics. Sewing a French seam is simple, just remember these two steps. Step 1. Place wrong sides together and sew at half the seam allowance. Step 2. Turn inside out, placing right sides together and sew at half the seam allowance. And that's it. You can apply these two steps to sew a French seam on anything. Place your front top pieces and back top piece wrong sides together, lining up the shoulder and side seams. Clip or pin in place. Since we're using a stretchy fabric, you will need to use a ballpoint needle and a zigzag or stretch stitch. Sew at half the seam allowance to join the shoulder and side seams. Turn the bolero inside out so that things are right sides together. Clip or pin the shoulder and side seams in place. Sew at half the seam allowance again to join the shoulder and side seams. Make sure that your outer zigzag or stretch stitch on your left side is beside the previously sewn seam and not on it. Otherwise, the seam will show on the right side of your fabric. This is what your bolero should look like with all the French seams completed. Press them to one side. This is what the French seams look like after they've been pressed. They should look flat and crisp. I chose to leave my lace hem raw. You may choose to use a rolled hem, bias tape, ribbon, or other trimming. It's entirely up to you as the designer. Next, we need to work on the two sleeves. We will use French seams again. With each individual sleeve, line up the side seams with itself placing wrong sides together. Clip or pin in place. 
Sew from the sleeve cap to the wrist hem at half the seam allowance. Turn the sleeve inside out so that things are right sides together. Clip or pin the sleeve side seams in place. Sew from the sleeve cap to the wrist hem again at half the seam allowance. Make sure that your outer zigzag or stretch stitch on your left side is beside the previously sewn seam and not on it. Otherwise, the seam will show on the right side of your fabric. This is what your sleeve should look like with all the front seams completed. Press them to one side. Your sleeves are ready to be attached to the bolero, but first we need to prep the sleeve cap. Sew in two basting stitches of length 5 within the seam allowance and between your two notch points. The notch points are usually a few inches up from the end of the sleeve caps. The first basting stitch will be at a normal tension. Prior to sewing the second basting stitch, increase the tension to a 6 or higher, which should auto-gather the fabric for you. Remember to leave long tail threads. We will use French seams again. Place the sleeve and bolero sleeve opening wrong sides together. Finesse the gathered portion of the sleeve cap so that it matches with the bolero sleeve opening, making sure that the center top of the sleeve cap aligns with the shoulder seam of the bolero, that the sleeve side seam lines up with the bolero side seam, and that the other notches align. Clip or pin in place. I find it easier to sew a hand basting stitch to hold the sleeve in place before sewing it on the machine. You're welcome to skip this step and sew the sleeve directly on the machine. Sew the entire circumference of the sleeve at half the seam allowance. Turn the sleeves inside out so that things are right sides together. Clip or pin the sleeve in place. Sew the entire circumference of the sleeve again at half the seam allowance. Make sure that your outer zigzag or stretch stitch on your left side is beside the previously sewn seam and not on it. Otherwise, the seam will show on the right side of your fabric. This is what your sleeve should look like with all the French seams completed. This next step is optional. You can remove all of the basting stitches with a seam ripper. Once removed, press the seams to one side. And that's it. You're done sewing your bolero. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like to make the matching halter peplum top and ruffled pencil skirt, watch my other videos. And if you make your own bolero, please tag me. I'd love to see how it turned out. Happy sewing!